I have been asked, and quite reasonably too, when should I remove the tree ties uh, on my graftings? Well, as you can see, it's the 20th of uh, June today. I haven't removed any of mine yet. Um, that doesn't mean that you should definitely not remove any of yours, uh, but you want to be careful. Um, if you remove them too early, you'll be sorry. If you remove them too late, you'll be sorry. Um, because uh, I want to heal, for, I want to heal up, make a fine, strong union. Um, uh, if you remove them before they've made the union, particularly if it's windy, uh, then they may um, break off. If you leave them on too long, you can see at the bottom there, uh, it's wrapped up quite tight at the top as well. Um, if you're using polythene, if you, uh, if you leave them on too long, they may snap when you remove them. Here's one. Um, this isn't going to be an issue with this because um, that, just isn't, that just isn't going to put any pressure on. I'm going to leave that particular one. Um, uh, I'm not removing mine yet. Okay, as you can see, the grafting hasn't done badly this year, as far as these are concerned. These are Bramley's, top worked over to cider varieties. In this case, um, Yarlington Mill. I've explained the reasons for this before, these brownies weren't doing me any good. Now this is interesting, if you look at that, it looks as if it might just begin to be, it might just begin to be biting in, in fact. I may even risk uh, removing this one. It has to be a first one, doesn't it? I've got a knife on me, that's a silly question, I think I should have. Uh, no, I haven't. Um, Should have a knife on me. And this is England. You need to be careful. Could be doing five years having a knife. Because as we know, uh, um, so I better not go off on that tangent, had I? Uh, it's picking this off. I'm taking this one off. A because it looks a bit tight, and B because looking at this particular one, if it went wrong, I could afford to lose it because this tree's got about six grafts and they've all taken. So I could afford to lose this one and it wouldn't uh, really ruin the tree. Mm. Of course, if you use parafilm, you don't have to worry with this because they'll fall off anyway. Um, and there's probably a lot to be said for using paraffin. I'm going to use it next year. Okay, can you see that? Actually, that's quite interesting. It looks a bit tight, doesn't it? It's just, um, yeah, I think it's just dug in a bit. Uh, but it looks as though it's got a nice clean healing. Uh, so it's healed nicely. That particular one, I think, was tied in rather tightly. Maybe if you didn't tie them in quite so tight, it'd be better. Anyway, uh, I'm going to leave that and see how it does. The others I'm going to uh, uh, leave for now. Probably they should come off in about two weeks. If you were a bit nervous, you could take them off and then reapply um, something. Uh, re reapply uh, to, to take up the tension, if you like. There's a lot of tension there. You need to tie it up with tension. It's got to be done tight to begin with. Um, but then as it swells, the tightness becomes too tight and it digs in like a tourniquet and it can kill it. This is interesting here. <laughs> a bird came and sat on this and broke it. At least I assume that's what happened. So I'll leave it there, nothing lost. And look, it's growing. So I'll come back to this one later. Um, but anyway, you know, every time, every time I do this, I think, oh, you can't believe this is going to work. And every time it does work, I think, wow, well, it's another miracle. Um, yeah, and, uh, and finally, it is important to, uh, you know, to these, um, the things that come off, the growth that comes off below, you need to remove it. Okay then, so uh, uh, yeah, probably if you remove, if you, if you if, put it this way, if you're uh, getting the timing right is an issue. If you remove the ties, assuming you use um, polythene as I have done, uh, so it's not an issue with a parafilm really. Um, if you remove the ties too early, you'll be sorry. And if you remove the ties too late, you'll be sorry. So when, if you want to do it, you want to do it when the time is just right. Um, when is that? Well, you have to use your own judgment. But not before, at least you see this sort of growth happening.
Okay then, so we'll uh, uh, come back to these later and see how they do. Hopefully they'll do as well as um, some of the other trees around here, which were grafted over a little while back. And you might ask the question at this stage, well, you know, why didn't you just plant the right varieties in the first place? To which my answer is, live and learn. This is Somerset Red Streak.